Facts First presents This is how being a mom was different in medieval times. But some things haven't changed at all. Being a mother is one of the hardest jobs you will ever have. It's your job to keep your baby safe no matter what. If your baby cries, you have to figure out what it wants. It could be wet, hungry, tired, maybe she just wants attention. When you first bring your baby home, she's going to wake up every few hours, even in the middle of the night, and that makes it very difficult for new mothers to sleep. When your child starts walking, you have to keep an eye on her constantly because while she walks, she could run into just about anything. Your job is not going to get any easier as your child gets older, either. The teen years can be some of the most challenging years when raising your child. When your child is grown and living on their own, you still worry about them day and night. Motherhood and parenthood in general is not easy, but it is very rewarding. Being a mother now is nothing like what it was decades ago. Back in the Middle Ages, it was very different. Mothers didn't have the things available to them back then that we have today, obviously. And being a mother looked a lot different back then, too. Mothers looked after their children in some curious ways that might shock you. Back in medieval times, you couldn't go into your local supermarket and buy a few cans of formula to heat up when you got home. That wasn't even invented until the 19th century. If a woman couldn't breastfeed her baby for health reasons or any reason at all, she would have to hire a wet nurse. Back then, they were very popular. A wet nurse is a woman who is nursing her own baby and also nurses the mother's baby because the mom can't do it herself. Today, wet nurses are not very popular. If a mother can't breastfeed her own baby, she just buys formula at the store. If she cannot breastfeed but still wants her baby to have all the advantages of breast milk, you can even buy that online. The few people who do still do things like this today don't call it being a wet nurse. It's now called cross-nursing. It was much more common, though, in medieval times. Also back in medieval times, mothers would often leave their babies home alone so that they could run to the shops and handle other duties outside the house. They would swaddle their babies and head out for a while. It was not uncommon for accidents to occur while the mothers were out, causing serious accidents and even death. Today, if a mother leaves her baby alone for just five minutes and something happens, she's likely going to be arrested immediately. Even if nothing happens and it's discovered that the baby was left alone, she can still be arrested for endangering the welfare of a child. When the mom bails herself out of jail, she's going to go home to an empty house because Child Protective Services won't give a baby back to the mother who abandoned her without going before a judge first. Today, swaddling is not an acceptable babysitter. Today, it's easy for mothers to feed their babies. They can just go into the store and buy a few jars of baby food. Mothers who want to feed their babies something that's all natural can make their own baby food using a food processor. This type of baby food was not available until 1865, though. Before that, when a baby with no teeth had to eat, the mothers had to chew their food for them. After chewing up the food, the mother would then put it onto the spoon, allowing her child to eat it. I know that sounds strange, even gross, but there are still cultures who do this today, but not in the modern world. It's an unhealthy practice because there's a high risk of transmitting infections this way. If a mother was at a restaurant with her baby today and she chewed up her baby's food first, people would look at her like she was crazy. Mothers in medieval times led very busy lives. They didn't have any of the modern conveniences that we have today like stoves, microwaves, dishwashers, washing machines and dryers, and made every task take a lot longer to accomplish. Also, medieval mothers didn't have TVs to keep their children busy while they did their housework. The only way mothers could get everything done without needing to worry about what their toddlers were getting into was to tie them to their apron strings. That's not just a phrase, it really is something they used to do. It would ensure that they always knew where their babies were. Today, some mothers put their babies in carriers. That way, they can keep a close eye on them whatever they're doing. When the babies get too big for the carrier, some mothers use baby harnesses. Things like the Renaissance Fair or places like Medieval Times make it all look so romantic. But now that you've watched this video, would you want to go back to Medieval Times or are you fine right where you are? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.